guys this is Jackson and today I'm going to be going over top 5 spring pre-spawn largemouth bass lures. So let's get right into it. First up I have the spinner bait. I have a white one right here and a neon yellow and green. And spinner baits are really good on uh, overcast days when, the, when there's a little bit of wind and the water's a little bit choppy. So uh, it's actually overcast right now and I was throwing a spinner bait and I had one but it came off. So you can reel in slower if it's colder outside because the fish aren't as aggressive. But if it's warmer outside then you can reel in a little bit faster because they're going to be more aggressive with the warm weather to get to the bait. Next on the list is the jerk bait, the suspended jerk bait. Now this is really good because you can keep it, you can keep it in the strike zone longer. So you can cast it out and you can kind of twitch it a little bit and let it sit in the strike zone and just twitch it. And um, it's really good for that, just keeping it in the spot where the bass are. Now each jerk bait has its own wiggle, dart, however you want to call it. It has its own movements. So experiment with it and kind of try out what you like best and figure out what kind of jerk bait you like and what works for you. So that's kind of the thing with all these baits. Just uh, experiment and do what you like best and figure out what's good for you. Oh no. Next up is the chatter bait. I don't have a trailer on this one, but it's good to have trailers on them. So, what's good about chatter baits is uh, this little thing right here, the blade. It vibrates in the water, and that's how the fish kind of find it, and that's where the fish, that's where the fish go to hit it. So you can use this on a windy day when the water's a little choppy because there's going to be a lot of noise in the water. And if you really want to get those fish, the, the fishes, the fishes, the fish, if you want to get the fish's attention, then use a chatterbait because it's got the blade, which, like I said, sends vibrations to the water. So it's easy for the fish to find it. Next up is the crankbait. So I'm not a very avid crankbait fisherman. I don't think I've ever even caught a fish on a crankbait, so I don't know much about them, but I've been doing a little research on them and heard that actually on a few websites it said that uh, pre-spawn bass are looking for crayfish to eat. So if you have a uh, brown, orange, or red crankbait that looks like a crayfish or something like that, then try that first because that's what the spawning fish are looking for or pre-spawning. Last up, I have the swim jig. I also don't have a trailer on this and my hooks are rusty so I need to get a new one. So swim jigs, I also don't know much about but I've caught a few bass on them. So they're really good for pre-spawning bass and you can just chuck it out there and kind of vary your retrieval. So if, you, if you're not getting any bites, how, how you're usually casting it, then try and when you're reeling it in try and change it up maybe jig it a few more times than usual and let it sit or something like that just vary your retrieval do something different see what the fish likes or your personal preference those are all the lures i have today so thank you all for watching comment any tips or suggestions or anything that i got wrong because i probably got a few things wrong in there so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video